Okay, I'm going to go ahead and continue painting on this. Um, just trying to think of things to talk about besides my life. I was thinking about like cartoons when you were a kid. And I was thinking about Nicktoons specifically. Not to get too deep into stuff, but a couple weeks ago, somebody asked my dad how long we'd been living. They When we'd moved into the house that I grew up in, basically. And he said late 80s. And uh, it doesn't seem like it was that long ago, but obviously it was. And I was trying to remember. Nicktoon started in 1991. And I remember they... I don't think Doug debuted, but I know... I know uh, Rugrats and Rin and Stimpy debuted on VH1, I believe. And for some reason it was on... Not late at night, but at night time. And I was like seven or eight. But I remember staying up to watch those. And then in, I was thinking about that and just like just how awesome Nicktoons was as a kid. Like like Doug. I mean, Doug and Rugrats were the main ones. I, I don't really count Ren and Stimpy, even though it was a Nicktoon. It doesn't feel like it was in the same vein, but I loved Ren and Stimpy. But uh, Doug is probably my favorite, and it's the one that I still go back to, and I will still watch today. I think I, obviously, I identify with Doug Funny. I mean... He basically looked exactly like me at that age. Short hair, biggish nose, and always in his head like I am. Then and today. But, uh, yeah, I don't know why. But that's not like I randomly think about these things, but I was just thinking about Doug. I'm trying to think what my favorite episode was. I don't know if I had a specific one that was a favorite. Let me think about it. Favorite episode of Doug. Oh, Dad, this one's so easy. The one where he gets the new video game system. And he and Skeeter and Porkchop stay up all night that whole weekend playing it. And uh, he has that homework where he has to write a report on Silt. And I still don't know what Silt is. If it's a real thing, I'm sure it is. But he had to write the report. And he was so addicted to the game, he thought it was due when it was a Saturday, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But, uh... I totally, I totally identified with that as a kid. I would rent, well there's a stretch where before I had a bike and sort of like an allowance or odd job money where my parents, uh, this local video rental place had a, on Fridays it was like f five for five dollars for five days and I would get five video games and I always remember as a kid on Sunday nights before school like I just wouldn't play games because it didn't feel right it didn't feel right I screwed this up but it felt like Sunday nights were so depressing I didn't want to play video games because it's like oh man the weekend's over no more uh no more uh, fun, but yeah, I'll draw some squiggly lines in that later. But uh, 
Yeah, I remember the Flintstones, the NES Flintstones games. I didn't play them a ton, a ton, but I rented them a few times. They were always fun. Even though the cartoon's pretty much garbage, the games were fun. And uh, I remember spending weekends playing those. And gosh, what else did I play? Tech Mobile on the NES. It was all NES. I got an NES maybe a little bit later than most people, but I still got it, and I still played the heck out of it. But, like, now I'm just going to roll off random Nintendo games that I played as a kid that I'm going to remember. Maniac Mansion. I didn't beat that until I grew up and understood what point-and-click adventure was. Uh, let's see, Tech Mobile... Tecmo NBA, me and my friend would play that all the time. I didn't, my parents, I never got bought a ton of games. I rented a lot, and I think if we would have actually bought some games, we probably spent more renting than we did. Would have if we would have just bought the games, but that's no matter. Uh, what's another one? North versus South, that game is super fun and it's still fun today if you get a chance to play it it's a civil war game that's there's only a couple games i remember my parents actually playing with us one of them is the first mario i can remember that when i first got a nintendo i remember them playing mario with us but north and south i remember sunday night my mom playing north and south i don't know why that memory sticks out Probably because of my whole Sunday night thing. But, uh... Yeah. Lots of fun video game memories. And then as I got older and got... I didn't have a Super Nintendo. I had a Sega. But I mostly played sports games back then. And I had NBA Live and... My friend had this insane win streak over me. And he was, I can't remember, I think it was the Seattle Supersonics had had a player called, uh, he was Detlef Shrimp, I believe. And uh, for some reason that game, he was the boss at hitting three-pointers. And eventually I think I had to make a rule, like, you can't be this team. Because my friend would always hit threes with that guy. But I kind of, I wanted to beat him. Uh, I wanted to beat him with that team just to prove it to myself. But, yeah, I don't know why I'm talking about all this. Arch Rivals on Nintendo, on NES. That game was awesome. It was like NFL Blitz. It's like the basketball version before NFL Blitz. That one I could play it all day too. I think I could still play it today. I don't know if it's as fun. Hmm. We got nine minutes. Oh, my brush broke. Well, I'll call that good for today. I'll let this dry. Maybe I'll make another video later. I don't know. But um, anyways, uh, thanks for listening to video game talk from my youth. Um, I'm just trying to talk about other stuff besides my day. So uh, who knows what I'll talk about next time. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.